looking at you. <laughs> All right. Uh, say and spell your name. Tell me where you live and the name of your group. Uh, my name is Spencer Hendrickson. S P E N C E R H E N D R I C K S O N. And I'm originally from Washington, but we all live in Sturgis area right now. And we will. Uh, our group is called S Fine Gems. Washington State or Washington D.C.? Washington State. Okay. How'd you get here? Um, long story. I uh, I graduated from high school, went to a couple uh, um, schools of college, and then that didn't pan out. So I went to go live with my grandparents in Hawaii, and then I ended up wanting to go to school here, and then that's when we all got in together with music. So it's been a crazy story. Wow, Hawaii to here. <laughs> I thought I thought my New York to here was bad enough. Okay, so how did the group come about, and why is there a woman in us fine gents? Um, the group came about as um, we just like. Uh, Noah and I started playing together and we started writing these songs and then we uh, heard of Emily Lisko and she was really good at drums so we were like well we want her and so um, we were originally went by Lead Box but then when we added Emily we changed her name to Us Fine Gents and the Gents is, I don't know, she was fine with it, she actually liked it. And, and, and Emily, do you have any problems with this from like a sexist point of view or what? Uh, no, I, I'm fine with being called a gent. <laughs> and, and, and a girl playing, excuse me for being, continuing to be sexist here, but a woman playing drums, this is not the norm. Uh, I play drums in a lot of different projects and stuff. And but most women don't play drums. I guess right? I'm just special. Cool, okay, good. <laughs> we, uh, and, and hold on, and, and I just wanted to commend you on your fine guitar playing. Well, well thank you very much. Who, who's your influences? My influences? I'm my own influence. Good man. Okay, you were starting to say? Oh, I was saying about Emily. Uh, she's a great addition to the band. Um, she brings over the feminine vibe, and three guys is just a little weird. And with the, she's really cute, and uh, we can. <laughs> she's she's fun to look at on stage. So. Sexist <laughs> statements abound. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna keep all this off because you're only gonna get about 25 seconds when this is done. So, what do you think about what's going on here tonight? As to opportunities for local songwriters and bands. Uh, the Songwriters Invitational is amazing, and Rick Grosick and the Art Center has been fabulous to us. Uh, they can schedule up like events if we need them, and they are. We're actually recording a CD here this month, and we'll be done with it by the end of the month. And they're letting us use all the equipment, and we just do pro bono stuff for them, and they are amazing. Um, yeah, you're from Washington State, where? Uh, Tri Cities, Washington, the East Side. Okay. Um, I'm from New York originally, as I said. I've done a lot of stories on the Dahl Art Center in Rapid City. Are you familiar with them? Yeah, you yeah, know, they you, are. They okay. are more All right. familiar. All right, so, uh, and I've commu commu yeah, communicated with the woman there about uh, local talent versus the mindset of you can't, there is no talent unless you're in New York, Chicago, L.A., etc., and the rest of the country doesn't exist. She's trying to change that. They're obviously trying to change that here. What do you think about opportunities? The, the existence of local talent and opportunities for that talent. Oh, it's it's abundant and it's massive. Uh, opportunities for me and us, our band, uh, you just have to take things by the head. Like, you have to do them yourself. You can't wait around for some record label to come do it for you. Like, we have PR groups on, like, we have websites, um, MySpace, Facebook, Twitter. You can follow us on lots of things. You just have to go out there and do it yourself. Like, we have recording right now. You just have to get out there. And what do you see yourself being in the next, what would you like to be in the next few years? Uh, next few years we will be famous. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about that statement? You, you planning on being famous in the next few years? I think we have it in us. So. Cool. And you? No doubt in my mind. Somehow I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I'm on Facebook, but I don't do a hell of a lot of the rest of it, so I'm not going to find you there because I don't go there. What is your uh, email address and a phone number where I can contact you folks? Um, you can contact us at usfindgents at gmail.com. Okay. And then you can get on our, um, on our mailing list there. And for phone number, um, it's out of state, but you can call me if you would like. And it's 1-509-392-9207. Okay, good enough. As I said, this is a five-minute story when it's done, but I just, I wanted to get a, a mixture of everyone and not just folk-type people, if you right. would, and you're certainly not that. Like, like your stuff. Good Thank luck. You. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Good luck. Don't take all, you, do, you don't mind those sexist comments? <laughs> I just kind of... You let it go. Okay. Thank you so much. Good guitarist. Good work. Thank you.